What's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about a hunter exotic that I feel is extremely underused in PvP, but I feel like is the most powerful hunter exotic that some people Flash. use, but it's extremely underrated. Your exotic that I'm talking ask. about is Dragon Shadow. So if we read Dragon Shadow's perks, it says dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. So I really want to hit on the increase in movement here, but just keep in mind that your weapon handling speeds are also um, increasing to essentially what quick draw would be like, and you're also reloading your weapons every time you dodge. So when you join PvP, the majority of hunters look exactly like this, okay? You have your typical stompy hunter with a lightweight frame weapon and a shotgun or a sniper. And with good reason. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this loadout. Practically, it's very viable. It's extremely powerful. Um, I mean, the movement speed of the class is very quick. The jump is insane. I mean, you can literally move the majority of the map with very little effort. Um, another reason people like these boots is because your slide is a lot longer than what the standard slide is and the other thing is getting into that slide is a little bit easier where normally you would have to kind of run a little bit and then slide here it's almost instant I mean you still have to run like I can't just walk and crouch right but I mean it's it's very quick so if we kind of use this as a reference okay I can slide the majority of this platform from the steps to the end without trying so if there's a guy over here I'm able to just engage him and go let's say I have a sniper I come by I might be able to pick him off and get back to cover I'm also able to come in and out of cover to fight him very easily or if I want to I can literally jump over it with no effort at all but the problem that I see with stompies and this is something that happens all the time right let's say I'm fighting a guy with stompies he's right here and I turn the corner and I shoot him the first thing most people do is they jump. And I don't understand this mentality. Whereas instead of they're getting shot at, you know, there's no cover here. So they would slide to a better position and maybe fight you like this or maybe on the stairs or whatever. Majority of the time, unexperienced stompy hunter players will just jump in the sky. And this leaves you a sitting duck. Whereas if you're on Warlock and you're playing Top Tree Dawn, when you're in the sky... You can dodge that way and get to cover. Here, once I'm in the air, I literally I can't do anything. Like, I'm trying my best to move to the left. And that's as far as I go. Like, I don't know, four or five feet. So you literally compromise your own position in the hopes that the person fighting you can't do this. I mean, think about that. A lot of times I'll shoot a, a hunter. They'll jump in the air. and I mean, it's so easy. It's just bang, bang, bang. Or bang, bang. Like it's, I mean, there, there's nowhere for them to go. So, although they are powerful, it depends on the person using them to use that power to benefit them. You know, a lot of times you can land on an angled surface and then jump again and kind of like slingshot yourself forward. Like so, so you're running, small jump, you land. And I got so much momentum there that I damaged myself. I didn't even hit it right. I hit it kind of like down here. But the Stompies, great exotic. I'm not taking anything away from them. But what I would suggest is instead of using Stompies, you use the Dragon Shadow. So without the perk active, it's just like I'm normal, you know, I'm running whatever. The Six, Coyote, Young Ahamkar, Spine, whatever. Like my movement speed, my slide distance... It's noticeably shorter, right? I'm still, I'm exposed here. But if I activate the perk and I slide, I mean, it's like 90% of what Stompies is. So I'm still able to do that fight. Now, well, every time you dodge, the perk is giving you an invisible plus 50 in mobility. So if I have 50 mobility normally, and my dodge comes back every 20 seconds, then every time I dodge, I'm now at 100 mobility. So if I have 100 recovery, now I have 100 mobility, 100 recovery, and I'm zooming. So 
what that does to my jump is here's a normal jump okay just able to see over that edge and this is me like clicking and holding right here's me just clicking and tapping noticeably lower well, let's get the perk going I don't know if you can see that but to me there's a visible difference here's a tap tap right so I activate the perk my movement side to side is now maxed out. I'm jumping higher. I'm sliding farther. Just like if I had stompies on. What a lot of people do is they put on this exotic and they'll dodge once and they notice that their guns swap incredibly fast. I mean, this is insane. Now granted, my shotgun has quick draw. So let me pull out a weapon that might be a little bit slower. Let's pull out the Nation of Beasts and maybe the Wither Horde, right? And dodge again. I mean, this is this is stuff without quick draw. I mean, look at it. This is just like the curated Nation of Beasts that does not have snapshot. So just kind of give you a frame of reference on how insane your guns become. So they get used to how quick that happens. And they get used to how the weapons feel, and they, like, thrive off of that. So they want that perk up all the time so they can run around and do this. And be cracked out their mind, right? And let's say there's a dude here, and they have a shotgun without quick draw, or just, like, a low-handling weapon. They'll try to, like, jump the corner and ADS on that guy, and the perk will run out, like, right before they jump. And they go to pull out the gun, and it's like... And it's real slow... And they're like, man, this exotic is trash. I hate this exotic. The perk runs out right when you need it. But to that I say you're using the exotic incorrectly. So as a hunter, when you're fighting somebody, the moment you start losing, the natural reaction is to get to cover. I mean, that's kind of for anybody, right? But with the, the hunter, you can dodge. So let's say I'm fighting someone at trucks. I'm missing shots. He's not. I'm low, and I need to get to cover, okay? So now I'm in cover. And what I've done by using that exotic is now all of my weapons are reloaded. I'm in a safe position. I have 100 mobility that allows me to jiggle peek. So here's me, normal, right? Quick, but not that quick. You know, I'm. it's, it's hard to show. You have to feel it. Like, I feel like I'm on ice skates almost. But now my guns are insane. So I'm dodging the cover, and I'm able to just... Let's say he's a snipe, boom. Come over here, boom. Boom, boom. Like, you're, you're able to just... I don't know, you're like, become Superman. Like, I'm cracked out my face right now. <clears throat> so, I would say that you use the exotic as a way to help you in defensive positions. Whereas normally people will run around and they want that feeling. And that's fine, because while you have it active, I mean, my jump is farther, my slide is farther. But... When you really need it is when you need to dodge the cover. Now since I'm dodging and my mobility is now going to be 100, that means that every 9 to 10 seconds I get that dodge back. So where normally you would need to give up resilience or recovery to get an increase in mobility, now I'm able to have mobility be a little bit lower, which allows me to put it into the other stats, but still have that dodge, uh, <coughs> the dodge cooldown come back as quick as it can. Let's say you can only run like four mobility or you feel like your normal sprint without the perk active it is too slow or you just don't, I don't know, like you, you feel like you're kind of lacking somewhere. An option that you have is you can run bottom tree arc strider. So you have a perk called focus breathing. So sprinting recharges your dodge ability. So again, adding to the invisible mobility stat via cooldown timer and it increases your maximum sprint speed so now without the perk the moment focus breathing kicks on probably help yeah moment focus breathing kicks on i mean i'm zooming and then if i dodge i mean i'm pretty much maxed out because i have a lightweight frame on so if you want to run thorn and you feel like you're running too slow like right now i feel like i'm pretty slow right because i don't have a lightweight frame and i don't have the perk going and i don't have stop he's increasing my movement if I run bottom tree arc strider, you see how fast that dodge is coming back already with focus breathing coming up? Now watch when I dodge here in a moment and get Wraith Metal Mail going. And I have max 
uh, mobility plus focused breathing. I mean, it's pretty quick. As long as I'm moving, it's coming back. It slides faster, coming up. My thorns reloaded, even though I don't have ammo right now. My jump is higher. It's just one of those things that it helps in all aspects of the gunfight. Whereas with stompies, to me, is more of I need to fly over somebody's head and shotgun them. Again, stompies, incredibly powerful. I'm not taking anything away from them. But I would just suggest that you give this a try and give it a try longer than just like a game or two. Really try to adapt to how it feels to use this and how different your gameplay becomes when all of a sudden you're able to move around similar to stompies without stompies but reload all your stuff all the time. I mean, I'm still able to easily jump this box and shotgun somebody. So hopefully this was helpful. I hope you guys give it a try. If you have any uh, questions, leave them down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.